Hello, in this video, we will learn about second shifting theorem and its applications. The learning objectives of this video are Laplace transform of product of shifted function on T scale and shifted unit step function can be obtained after going through this video. Also, inverse Laplace transform of functions multiplied by exponential function can be obtained. Now, we will see the statement of second shifting theorem. Second shifting theorem says that if Laplace transform of Ft is Fs, then Laplace transform of Gt is equal to e raised to the power minus As into Fs, where this function Gt is a product of shifted function f of t minus a and unit step function h t minus a. Here a represents the shift along t scale. So we can write down this function as uh, this also here in the interval t less than a this is defined as 0 whereas in the interval t greater than a this is defined as f of t minus a. This definition of gt comes because of the multiplication of this function h t minus a which is a unit step function and it is shifted on the t scale by an amount a. So, if we want to find out the inverse Laplace transform, then we can take the inverse of this and it will represent the inverse Laplace transform. So, inverse Laplace transform of any function of s multiplied by exponential function e raised to the power minus a s is given as the product of shifted function and shifted unit step function h. Now we will see some examples how we can apply second shifting theorem to find out Laplace transform of gt defined in this manner. Then later on we will see the proof of second shifting theorem. So let us solve some questions based on second shifting theorem. First question is where in the interval t greater than 2 pi upon 3, the function is defined as cos of t minus 2 pi upon 3. And in the interval t less than 2 pi upon 3, it is defined as 0. So, we can apply second shifting theorem here. So, here a is equal to a is equal to 2 pi upon 3. So, this is the amount of shift given to the function cos of t. So, here f t is equal to cos t. How we have obtained this cos t from the given function? If we remove the shift from here, shift 2 pi upon 3 has been removed and we get the function f t as cos t. So, we can find the Laplace transform of this f t from the table. So, Laplace transform of this f t means Laplace transform of cos of t the function without shift. So, this is equal to Laplace transform of cos t which we can write from the table of Laplace transform and this is equal to s upon s square plus 1. a is equal to 2 pi upon 3. So, if we multiply Laplace transform of cos t by e raised to the power minus 2 pi upon 3 s, we will get the Laplace transform of the given function g t. Therefore, Laplace transform of g t is equal to s into e raised to the power 
माइनस टू पाई अपॉन थ्री एस डिवाइडेड बाय एस स्क्वेयर प्लस वन देर फोर बाय अप्लाइंग सेकेंड शिफ्टिंग थ्योरम इफ वी कैन फाइंड द लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ अ फंक्शन विदाउट शिफ्ट एंड मल्टीप्लाई इट बाय एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन e रेज टू दी पावर माइनस ए एस वी विल गेट द लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ जी टी लेट एस सी सम अदर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑल्सो हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म how we can find the laplace transform by using second shifting theorem so here uh, this function gt is given as the product of two functions sin of t minus 2 which is shifted function on the t scale by amount 2 and shifted unit step function ht minus 2 so here a is equal to 2 a is equal to 2 and f t minus a is sin of t minus 2 therefore f t here is sin t the function without shift therefore we can find laplace transform of f t by using the table of laplace transform so laplace transform of f t means laplace transform of sin t Here is equal to one upon s square plus one. Therefore, Laplace transform of this given g t is equal to this g t is equal to e raised to the power minus two s divided by s square plus one. so by applying second shifting theorem we can find out laplace transform of shifted functions and its product with unit step function very easily now let us find laplace transform of this gt which is defined in the interval as t when t is greater than 1 and it is 0 when t is less than 1 here in the function shift is not given so we will write down this function after giving a shift of 1 so this function can be written as equal to t plus 1 minus 1 so the function remains same but we have introduced the shift of amount one here because this is defined in the interval t greater than 1 and here it is 0 in the interval t less than 1 so what is ft here ft is equal to t plus 1 this is the shift so a here is equal to 1 which is the shift and ft the function without this shift is equal to t plus 1 therefore fs means laplace transform of this ft is equal to laplace transform of t plus 1 which we can write down from the table of laplace transform and using linearity property of laplace transform as this is equal to laplace transform of t plus laplace transform of 1 so this is equal to laplace transform of t is equal to 1 upon s square from the table and laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 upon s therefore laplace transform of this given gt we can write down now laplace inverse transform well, sorry laplace transform of this gt we are finding laplace transform so this is the laplace transform of this gt we will write down 
So Laplace transform of gt is equal to we will multiply this fs by exponential function with this a. So this is equal to e raised to the power minus s into 1 upon s square plus 1 upon s. This is the Laplace transform of this given function gt. Now we will see how we can apply second shifting theorem to find out inverse Laplace transform of given function of s. And these functions are multiplied by exponential functions of s. So let us see how we can find inverse Laplace transform of this function. Here first we have to identify fs. In this given function fs is equal to 8 upon s square plus 4. And a is equal to 3. If we compare with the second shifting theorem statement. So first we have to find out ft here. So ft means plus inverse of fs which is equal to inverse of 8 upon s square plus 4 this is 8 so we will write 8 here so So, which is equal to 8 into Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus 4. And inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus 4 is equal to 1 upon 2 okay, sine of 2t, which we can write down very easily by using table of Laplace transform given in the PDF form in the section resources. So we have found Ft. Now we have to give it a shift of amount A which is equal to 3 here. So we will write Ft minus 3. Ft minus 3 here is equal to 4 into sine of 2 t minus 3. So, we have replaced t by t minus 3. So, what is inverse of this given function is equal to this given function e raised to the power minus 3 s divided by s square plus 4 is equal to 4 sine of 2 t minus 3 multiplied by unit step function which is shifted by amount 3. So, this is the final inverse Laplace transform of the given function of s. Now, in this video there are some questions which have been given which you can do yourself by using the same concept which we have discussed here in solving some questions and then we will go through the proof of second shifting theorem. So now we will see the proof of second shifting theorem. So we will find Laplace transform of gt which is defined earlier in the interval 0 to infinity this has been subdivided into two sub intervals so by definition we can write down laplace transform of gt as this integral from 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus st gt dt 
which we have to break into two sub integrals because of the definition of gt into two sub intervals so 0 to a value of gt is 0 so this integral will be 0 plus integral from a to infinity e raised to the power minus st and in this interval a to infinity value of gt is f of t minus a the function with the shift a so value of this integral is equal to 0 and value of this integral is 0 so this and it will reduce to this integral so we have to evaluate this integral e raised to the power minus st f t minus a integral from a to infinity to evaluate this integral we will make some substitution if we put t minus a is equal to some other variable u which will give you t dt is equal to du and t is equal to u plus a so we will substitute this and then we will get laplace transform of gt is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus s and in place of t we will get u plus a f u d now here e raised to the power minus a s is not dependent on u so we can take outside the integral sign so this will become e raised to the power minus a s into integral from 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus s u into f u d u here this is d u so let us write down this as d u d u now this integral is equal to e raised to the power minus a s into laplace transform of f t means f s so we have proved second shifting theorem here thank you